it's been several decades since people faced a disaster of this scale. And so virtually a whole generation has gone without experiencing this kind of hurricane. And in fact, we had two Category 5 hurricanes come back to back, which is rather unique. Every month they're telling us, give them a chance, they're doing this, they're doing that. And I guess when power comes, it comes. Power all over the Caribbean has been disrupted and destroyed. Humanitarian aid and development aid is slow, cumbersome, expensive. It's hard to get the parts you need. Field Ready brings local manufacturing to disaster zones. So what we do is bypass huge parts of the supply chain to make new solutions that are better, faster, and cheaper than current alternatives. We do that by bringing the knowledge with us and the equipment to make things locally. We couldn't do this work without SolidWorks. And the reason is because it allows us to prototype, it allows us to share that information, it allows us to make the final product. In the space of a number of hours, we can go from conceptualizing what a potential solution is to actually making it. That's, that's fast. That could be anything from a simple medical disposable to uh, sanitation pipe fitting to uh, solutions around housing and shelter, things that help children, elderly in different ways, or even things like energy, which is a new thing that we've done here in St. Thomas. The solar panels that were being used throughout the island have been damaged. In fact, they look like they're garbage that they should be thrown out. What we found was that they actually work. Yeah. Booms off. Perfect. So this guy's still working. So now we're going to hook the solar panels up to this battery, and then from this battery we're going to charge it, and then we're going to be running this guy off of another battery. Sounds like a very simple challenge, but connecting the solar panel to the battery requires attaching a lead onto the terminals. The real advantage of SolidWorks is that the learning curve is very short and very quick. When I'm in a new place with a new challenge, it doesn't really matter what the challenge is, and I have confidence I'll be able to pick up whatever skills I need. I made my first design probably in about 20 minutes, and it'll take about 30 minutes to print that, and then we'll, we'll have a, an idea of what's going to work, and we can start building up from there. We were actually able to get a number of broken solar panels up and running again. So we were able to actually charge people's lights, cell phones, flashlights, laptops. We even were able to support some Wi-Fi stations that were set up around that end. I think when you work with people on the ground and they know what they need instead of us trying to force them into it, it means that we'll actually create solutions that they'll actually adopt and use. And I, we found profoundly successful results with that. You have to be strong and have a lot of faith because when a hurricane comes, it's not easy. I ain't complaining about nothing. I mean, I like to get electricity, but I've been in this position many times before. I live through it, and I'm going to live through this. A key thing for us uh, is that our work starts with the empathy and compassion that we have for others. We want to, though, not just feel for them, but actually do something in a very concrete way. So that involves more than just sending things to them. It involves working with them to create a solution. We want to understand what people are going through. We want to be there shoulder to shoulder with them and find out what works for them. The software helps us do that and allows us to get something in the hands of people who are going to use it and ultimately benefit from it in a real way.